Huge shout out to Hilton in Toronto for this video. Hi everyone and welcome to Katie's Empire, the number one reviewer in North Carolina. Today we will be reviewing the Hilton Toronto Markham Suites Conference Centro and Spa. This hotel was actually built in 1988, and then it was actually renovated in 2014. So it has a total of about 502 rooms, and that includes 148 suites. So let's go in and see what it looks like on the inside. When you first walk into the hotel, you are greeted with this big open area that includes this lounge. So this main building actually has 10 floors. So the lower level actually has plenty of space and rooms to accommodate for any event. So the second level actually has access to more meeting rooms. They have a total of about 28 meeting rooms, small or large, and you can book and use these rooms for anything, board meetings, corporate events, weddings, whatever you choose, the choice is yours. They also have outside space available as well and they can even assist you when it comes to event catering. So the biggest area that I've seen was about 1,304 square meters. I'll go ahead and throw up the square footage for those of you that are interested in the square footage. And they also have a Hilton Honors Lounge as well. They also have a restaurant that's inside of the hotel and it's actually pretty nice. So down this hallway, they actually had a car rental spot. And right beside that was where the gift store was located. All right, y'all, how often do you go to a hotel and they have a spa on the inside of the hotel? And I also love that they offer a variety of things. So they offer facials, they offer shoulder massages, neck massages, feet massages, and it even looks nice and relaxing on the inside. All right, guys, don't freak out. I know we are going up a lot of stairs, but honestly, it's not that bad. All right. But as we get up the stairs and we turn to our left, we are greeted by the indoor pool. All right, guys, before we get into one of my favorite parts of this video, you have to first fill out that liability waiver. And once you have completed that, then they'll go ahead and give you a message and let you know that everything is completed. And then my friends, you can go into the fitness center. And let me tell you, this was by far the best 
fitness center I've ever seen at any hotel that I have been in, ever. This thing is going to check off every single last box that you need when it comes to working out. I stayed in that fitness center so freaking long because there was so many different things that you could do in there. I'm telling y'all, this thing blew my mind. And if you check out my live, you'll see how excited I was when I walked into this gym for the first time. Oh, tell me, please let me know how many fitness centers in a hotel do you know that have dumbbells that go all the way up to 150? Please let me know down in the comments. We need to go check those out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have the keys. So the suites and stuff are actually gonna be in the smaller building, which I'm a little bit bummed out. I kind of wanted to stay in like the main building all the way up at, at the top. But I guess, you know, because I'm gonna be in a suite or whatever, we're gonna be staying in the, uh, in the other building. I'm cool with it. All right, so we're gonna check out the room real quick. We're on the end. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the moment that we all have been waiting on, the room. So when you first walk into the room to your right, you are greeted with the closet. In that closet, you have clothes hangers. You got a place to hang your coat. It has a iron and an ironing board. Now, this hotel actually does offer room service for those of you that are interested in getting room service that is available. So now, guys, we have the dining area and it also comes with a full size kitchen. And yes, it does have glasses. It does have silverware. This, my friends, is actually the living room. So if you want to just lounge around, chill, watch some TV or whatever, then you can do that in that living room space. So now we're going to go ahead and go into the office space. If you need to get some work done or whatever the case may be, then this is the perfect space to do that. And you actually have plenty of space to do that. You can close that door right there. Or if you have to use the restroom, you can actually go through this door right here and this leads you to the bathroom. Now this is where all the magic happened, right there. That king size bed, I don't know what they were using. I don't know if they were using Egyptian cotton or heaven cotton. I don't know what it was. All I can tell y'all is that I slept like a baby in that bed. What? 
the heck, bro? These are my favorite pants. No lie, these were my favorite pants. <laughs> Alright guys, so it's been a few days so I can actually laugh about it now. So they were actually kind enough to bring me up a whole nother iron and I do not fault the hotel at all. It was definitely my fault. I should have checked and made sure that that iron was not on full blast before I put it on my pants. As you guys can see, I didn't make that same mistake twice. <laughs> So as you can see, did have a little issue when it comes to getting ice on our floor. I just had to go up to the very next floor in order to get ice, but that is unfortunate that I had to go up another flight of stairs just to get ice. So we are currently on the fifth floor in the suites building. Now, if you need to wash your clothes or dry your clothes, they do have a space for that. Okay, so now we are approaching the sky bridge. The sky bridge actually connects the suites building to the main building. So you don't have to walk outside and get caught in that nasty rain. You can actually go from the suites building directly into the main building. I also wanted to point out the fact that they do charge for parking, all right? It's $10 per night, each night that you stay here. And some rooms, even though, you know, you're staying in an expensive room, some of those rooms do not guarantee that you get free breakfast. I believe it's like $20 for breakfast. This right here, my friends, is the conference center. When it comes to the overall review for this hotel, when you look at everything that this hotel has to offer, I would give this hotel a four out of five stars. When you start to think about different things, like one of the most important things I believe is location. Location, location, location. And as far as Tesla charging stations, there are two charging stations that are very, very close. You also have so many different restaurants, different shopping centers, two malls that are not too far away. And not to mention like this hotel is huge. There are some shortcomings. One thing that I do not like is the fact that I have to reserve time to get in the pool. I didn't honestly like that. But again, when you think about how big this hotel is and it looked like they were actually having like a swim lesson session or something inside of the pool early in the morning, I can understand that. I understand we're probably gonna have some people that's gonna feel some type of way about what I'm about to say, and that's okay. But I honestly feel like it should have been a 24 hour fitness center. As big as the fitness center is, I would have much rather that thing be 24 hours so I can go in and work out at any time of the day or night. The fact that it closes at 7 p.m. on the weekends, like I could not wrap my head around why that is. I had a great time staying here. The beds were so freaking comfortable. The staff was phenomenal. The fitness room, oh my goodness. The fitness room honestly is a 10 out of 10, a five out of five, however you wanna look at it. I have not been to another hotel that has a fitness center that looks like that. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. I spent hours on hours. I spent so many hours inside of that gym because it has so much i'm gonna tell you right now you do not get that anywhere the fitness center at this hotel comes second to none thus far i have not been able to stay at any hotel that has been able to accommodate 
every single last thing that I needed when it comes to a fitness center. I honestly fell in love with this hotel after I seen that fitness center. So again, guys, definitely recommend this hotel. But I honestly, I'm gonna hear from y'all. What are your thoughts? What do you think about this hotel? Let me know down in the comments, all right? Until the next time, man, y'all be blessed, y'all be beautiful, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Blueberry, Burberry, butter, tan skin, mixed race, buttercup. Canada weather, got a bundle up. I'm trying to work, she hit my phone, she wanna, whoa. Too bad was you know they roll.